everybody, it's me. Um, I am here with Ray Monk, and I am going to show you how I made his shirt. I am currently working on his phoenix on his little shirt. As you can see, I'm sewing it on, and I will get to that later. I'm showing you how to do that. First of all, I'm going to show you how to make these shirts so that they fit him well. All right, everybody, here is Ray Monk, and I have... His I have his sample shirt here, here, and put it right there. But I'm going to show you how I made this sample shirt. First thing you want to do is, whenever you're drawing, um, to make the measurements for your doll, what you want to do is you want to put your doll on your t-shirt or piece of fabric or whatever you're using. And you want to draw in a way that is out. First, you want to go out because you don't want to draw directly on them because it's not going to work. You always want to cut bigger than your doll. Then, after you go out, you then want to go up. Then you want to trace his body, but more out and away from him. You can tell I have my little marks here, here, but this is like an example, and you'll do that on both sides. You also want to do that for the sleeves. Whenever you do the sleeves, you want to go out first on both sides, and then up. So it's out, out, and then up. You want to like that. As you can tell here, I already have the outline for it. You see here and here. You see, but the first thing, as I showed you before, you always want to start with going outside of their actual arms because it's going to go around so it needs to be outside. Now after you cut it out this will be kind of like your um, finished product of the shirt and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to sew it along here, here, here and on the same on the other side the same way. You're going to want to sew it here, right here and along here. You want to leave a open here open here on for the sleeves and the bottom of course and that is how you're going to make your shirt now I'm going to show you what I'm doing to sew the phoenix onto the other black shirt that I have as you can see here I have um, the same shirt that I had in blue up here I have it also in black and I had a yellow shirt and what I did with the yellow shirt was that I drew a phoenix or dragon type thing on the shirt and then I cut it out. I cut out the phoenix and exactly how I wanted it, exactly how I drew it, that's how I cut it out. Now I'm going to sew the phoenix on there. I have my needle here. Oh wait, you go in through the back first. Right. Have my needle here. What you want to do is you want to go in through the back first, go all the way up, then after you go up you want to go in the rel relatively in the same spot. You're going to want to go down and through to the other side of the shirt and pull through. You don't want to do this when the shirt is doubled. Do not do this when the shirt is doubled. You want to do it when the shirt is single by itself. And you just go along the edges here of the phoenix and go all the way across. Da 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 da. Okay, this is Ray Monk, the finished. Um, his graphic tee here with this phoenix on it and what we did was we took we took the shirt after I had sewed on the phoenix and doubled it up made sure it was all even took it to the sewing machine and sewed here 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 and on the same side on the other side the same thing and then you turn it inside out, make sure that the phoenix, if you're going to do this, I don't know who else is going to do this, but if you are, make sure that the phoenix is on the inside of the shirt, like whenever it's here, because you're going to be turning it inside out. So you want the phoenix to be on the inside over here, so that after you sew it, then you're going to want to sew it with the phoenix on the inside. Then, after you sew it and you turn it inside out, the phoenix will be just the way you want it on the outside. And that's a good thing. Okay, so for making the pants for Raymond, what I'm doing is, as you can tell, I traced it out, just like I did with the shirt. You trace it out and up. 
and you want to trace it away from, I had to pull his legs apart like this so that it would be good and then out and up. This is the material that I want to use to make his pants. I think that's nice. I don't wear these pants. They're too high-waisted and too short. So I don't really wear them and so I'm going to use this but I only have so much of it as you can tell. So I'm using this yellow shirt to make his uh, practice pants. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny. And here you go. Raymond is Raymond is now no longer pantsless. Woo! These are the yellow pants that I made with the shirt over there. I cut them out and I put them on him. As you can see, I need to make them a little bit taller. The pants are a little bit too short. Like if I put his shirt up here. You can see that the pants are just a tad bit too short. So I'm going to need to make them a little bit taller, but I can use this same design, same length, same everything, and use it for those over there. And I think it's going to look good. Alright guys, here is Ramung. I'm now going to make his pants out of the jeans. The first thing I realized, um, as you can see I kind of made like the sketch inside of there. Well, I realized that if I'm making the sketch there, I need to turn these pants inside out. And I do not want this look, I want this look. So I realized that I needed to turn the pants, so make sure if you're going to do this, you need to turn the pants inside out first. Inside out first, because then whenever you turn them back inside out, you will see this side and not this lovely side. Now I'm going to trace him just like I traced the other pants and make the pants, and I'll show you guys when I'm done. Alright, and after I sewed the pants in, cut them, sewed them in, this is the finished look of Raymond. You can see his little Phoenix, Phoenix graphic tee there and his jeans. Looking really good. He's bringing sexy back. <laughs> now I just gotta put his face. He's a no face right now. But he's looking alright. He's looking alright. He's doing pretty good. The pants came out a lot tighter than I wanted them to be, but, uh, that, that's in, right? Skinny jeans? Yeah, that, that's in. So, he has some skinny jeans on. I didn't really want to make him with skinny jeans. I don't like guys with skinny jeans on. I'm one of the few. But, um, now I just need to make his face, his eyes and everything, and, uh, I'll be done. Okay, we are now done making our dolls. Well, I'm almost done. I still need to do the face on mine. But here is my mother's version of it. She cut out a uh, thing from one of the my dad's Harley shirts, or my Harley shirt that my dad got me, and put it on the front there and gave him a little hat thing. She did the face, whereas I didn't do the face. Here's mine. Um, I'll let you guys decide who has the better doll. I still haven't done the face on mine, so mine's is not finished. Please take that into consideration. And, um, yeah, this is our finished product. This is the story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. And while she looks so sad in photographs, I absolutely love her when she smiles.